Hey everybody, welcome back to Tech Odyssey. So today I'm here with the Unihertz Titan Pocket again, and this time it's a camera review. I've had a lot of people asking me, how's the camera, how's the camera, how's the camera? You're gonna find out in this video. So I did some video samples, I did some photo samples, I went out, I took pictures, different lighting conditions, different objects and things like that, so you can get a good feel for what it's capable of doing, and also the video test for the front camera and the back camera, test out the microphone, all that good stuff so you can get a really good feel for how good the, basically the videography and camera features are on this phone. But before we get into that, I do wanna say if this is your first time stopping by the channel, thank you for being here. If you enjoy the video, please hit the like and the subscribe button and the little notification bell if you want updates when new videos come out. Let's take a look at the camera setup on the Unihertz Titan Pocket. Okay, so camera setup on the Unihertz Titan Pocket. We've talked about this before. It's got an 8 megapixel camera on the front, so you can take some selfie photos. It doesn't have portrait mode on any one of the cameras. It doesn't have a depth sensor. It doesn't do it with software. It's just a point and shoot camera. It does have autofocus on the front and the back, so you can tap on the screen and try and get the best shot possible, but at the end of the day, it's just a camera. That's all it is. It doesn't have any of the additional stuff that goes in there. No extra lenses, no ultra wide, no telephoto, none of that jazz. So at first glance, grab it, take a picture, and I'll show you here what it looks like real quick. So one thing you're gonna to need to take note of is when you take pictures, the first couple of times you take one, if you're not paying attention, it might look like it's off-centered. They did something a little interesting with this phone. The selfie camera is in the top right there. So let's go ahead and take a look at this selfie photo that I took here. Now you'll see some better selfies because you're gonna see the overlay here, the B-roll stuff that I took, but it's got a nice fast shutter. It's pretty reliable. It's good at capturing stuff even when there's some motion going on. So if you're trying to take a picture of your kids or your dog, all that good stuff, it's pretty responsive. So as far as getting a quick shutter speed and all that stuff, it seems to be pretty good. Not a whole lot of filters on here. It does have a pro camera mode though, which actually really, really surprised me. So you can go into, and it's only available on the primary shooter. You can go in and take a look at the pro mode here and you've got the ISO, the exposure, and the white balance, not the focus. So there's not really anything you can do to get like classy photos on here with the, with the bokeh effect. But four different camera modes, you've got normal, pro, selfie mode, and then also time-lapse. So you can do a time-lapse photo, which is kind of neat if that's something that you want to do. So let's dive in. Let's take a look at some of these picture samples as far as the selfies go and also the other stuff. So I went around, I walked outside, took some pictures, lots of different flowers. I find flowers are always a good way to take exposures and see how things look because there's so many different colors, so many different varieties, different lighting conditions affect how they come out and stuff like that. So I took some pictures of some roses here and some other different flowers. They turned out really good, uh, some of them. I mean, the problem was is when I took a picture of the crepe myrtle with the white flowers on it, it was so light outside. That's one thing that impacts the photos on this phone is the light. If it's something that's very white or light colored and there's a lot of light exposed on it, then it has a hard time capturing the color. And that's just, you know, mostly due to this, the shutter and the, uh, the aperture and all that good stuff. So the camera itself, capable, it can take photos. Low light is not good at all. I'm just gonna say that. I mean, it did take a surprisingly decent dusk photo outside, just, you know, looking down the road. But as far as detail, the detail goes out the window and that happens with much better cameras. So I wouldn't really have been surprised if you know it didn't happen here. But the camera itself, eight megapixels, 16 megapixels. Yeah, that sounds reasonable, but the problem is, is the sensor and you know the aperture and all that other good stuff, which allows more light to come in so that you can get more detail. So there are things here that could have definitely been better when it comes to the camera. And other people have mentioned this in the comments, why they didn't go with a better camera. Because there are two and $300 phones that have remarkable cameras on them for what they bring to the table now. So I would have hoped that they would have kind of doubled down and really tried to improve the camera performance since the Titan. But again, I, that's not really what this phone is designed around. I've talked about that in other videos. This is a communications tool. It is a keyboard phone replacement. It is a budget, good workhorse of a daily phone that you can use for a daily driver. But it gets lost in the weeds in certain areas like the camera. Now, we've talked about the camera, we've looked at that, we've looked at a lot of the samples. Let's go ahead and dive in and take a look at the video clips now so you can get a feel for what the video capabilities are on this device. 
And here we have the front facing selfie camera, so you can get a feel for this as well. And go back here a little bit, you can see we've got Whataburger in the background there. Uh, of course, you saw that in the photos as well. But I wanted to come out and show this off. You know, a lot of people have been asking, hey, camera review, camera review, camera review. So here we have it, front facing selfie camera. You can hear the microphone, you can hear the pickups on it, see how it is. I think that for what it is, it's all right. I mean, this is not Samsung quality, it's not Apple quality, but it's not trying to be. I mean, it would be one thing if they came out and they're like, hey, we're trying to do this. We're trying to be the best in this market, but they're just trying to exist in this market. So physical keyboard, 3.1 inch screen, eight megapixel front facing selfie camera, 16 on the back, 299. I mean, I think that what they have pulled off with this, I think is gonna make people happy enough. You can do this, you can use it for your TikTok, your Instagram, your Twitter, social media, share it however you want. But the moral of the story is it's here, it works. And you know, I think for the price and what they put together here, it's not too bad. All right, so here we have the primary camera and came to this parking lot so we can have a look at stuff. But you can see the color contrast, the saturation, the way everything looks. The blues actually look pretty good on here. I mean, you can see the sky, it's looking nice. I'm recording this on 1440p, so basically it's Quad HD+. Plus which is perfectly fine, surprisingly higher than I thought that it could be for the Unihertz Titan Pocket, all things considered. But it will also shoot in 1080p, and I believe all the frame rates are locked to 30 frames per second. It doesn't allow you to change the frame rates. It doesn't give you any different options for different resolutions, but you can scale it down, shoot lower resolution. This is on the highest, and it's also got electronic image stabilization on. There's no optical image stabilization on here. There's not a whole lot of extra bells and whistles and features on here, but I mean, hey, you can shoot video, and I mean, for some people, I think that might be enough. You're not gonna be shooting any award-winning cinematography with this, but hey, I mean, it looks sharp enough. The resolution on is decent. I think the colors are nice and pretty natural looking and yeah, not too shabby for what it is. So one thing I want you to see here real quick, just so you can see that all the video is not a square box. If you do 1400 by 1400, which is the highest video quality, you're gonna get what you saw for the last couple of video clips where it is a square box as opposed to this horizontal rectangle that you're typically used to seeing. Now you can get this if you shoot the front facing selfie camera only in 720 as opposed to the 4, 1400 resolution. And then on the primary camera on the back, you can do 1920 by 1080, which is full HD plus. So those are some options you have, but just know if you pick a square even resolution, then you're gonna get a square looking video. All right, so we took a look at the front facing selfie camera. We took a look at the primary camera, talked about the image stabilization, went out and showed some different things off and you got a feel for what the microphone sounds like as well. So that's all I've got when it comes to this camera review. Hopefully this has been helpful. I know a lot of people have really been asking and wanting to get their hands on it and wanting to see what the samples look like, what the camera looks like, what they can expect because there are a lot of people that are really looking forward to this phone. So I tried to you know, show that off really good here so you could get a good feel for it in different lighting conditions with the video, with the camera and all that stuff. So hopefully it's been helpful. Hopefully you learned something. Hopefully you have a good understanding of what these cameras can do on the phone now. So that's all I've got. If you have any questions or comments, please feel free to leave them down in the comment section. I'll get back with you. If you enjoyed the video, please hit the like and the subscribe button and the little notification bell if you want updates when new videos come out. And as always, thanks for being here. I appreciate you watching and I'll see you guys next time.